seen the devil on our own? My name is Emmanuel Jal. I was a child soldier in South Sudan, and now I'm a recording artist. The music that I come, most of it come out of pain, so it's inspired by my past because I was born in a war-torn country, South Sudan, during that time. That war took away my aunties, including my mom. The confusion, to me as a child, you see villages burning and you see so many dead people. And I became a refugee in my own home area. War is a big business in a short period of time for a lot of people. It's economics. Now refugee camps have become a big business too. They've become big prisons. A refugee camp is a way of killing people slowly. When the children reach a certain age, they join the war. So refugee camps is also a breeding ground for child soldiers. These are people who need food on the table and somebody somewhere will manipulate them, provide them food and substitute it by creating, planting hate into them. So they go out there hating in exchange of opportunities, in exchange of food. I wanted to know who killed my family, who destroyed my home in the training where I was trained to become a child soldier. They told us who it is. And so I'm, I'm, I'm saying, look, I want to finish this training for my mother. I want to finish it for my auntie. I want to finish this training so I can know how to fire this gun and then go and fight this enemy. That anger that made me go through that hardship and finish the training. It's a place where your mind is converted, where the gun becomes your father and your mother. I happen to be lucky because I met a British aid worker called Emma McCune. She gave me an opportunity to go to school. I think she began to invest love in me. I couldn't understand why she was nice. Somebody's nice giving you things, talking to you about the school, telling me to leave my gun, this better thing. I couldn't understand why. When you're trained as a soldier, we're not supposed to trust people. For me, learning about that, I had a choice. Should I continue to hate or should I forgive and let go? So when I forgive, I found an amazing energy that I've never experienced in my life. Freedom to be able to look at things in a different way. And that was one of the turning points to be able to do the work that I do. And so music is where I got to become a child again. This is the place I get to see heaven. This is where I get to dance. This is the moment in a short period of time that I am lost in another world. I believe conscious awakening trigger the humanity in a person to do something. I believe if I share my story, it will create conscious awakening and it will put a spotlight in a dark place. <laughs>